In this video, I'll show you all you need to know about adding objects to your project. You can add objects to your project by dragging and dropping them. Let's select the split mode to see how this works in both 2D and 3D. We'll begin by finding the desired object, in this case, an armchair. You can use the search field at the bottom or switch between categories to find the necessary object in the library. And once you've found it, simply drag and drop it onto your floor plan. Next, we'll add a lamp by dragging and dropping it into the 3D view. As you can see, objects with glue options are automatically fixed to the appropriate surfaces. When dragging and dropping floors or windows into the 3D view, they are automatically snapped onto walls. You can drag them along the walls in the 2D view. You can adjust different object parameters in the object properties of Inspector. Here you can resize and rotate objects, set elevation and glue options, and more. You can duplicate, copy, and paste objects by right-clicking on them. Objects pasted in the 2D view will be pasted to the position of the mouse cursor. There is an option to group objects together in order to move them together. This can help you edit the interior of complex projects. It goes without saying that you can add objects to any story of your project. All you need to do is select the story in the left combo box of the 2D view or in the Building Properties tab of Inspector. Please note that there are shortcuts available for many of the operations covered in this tutorial. To learn about them, view the Help section of Live Interior 3D. That's it for adding objects.